Hey folks and welcome to another video from A Plain Truth. I'll be releasing the interviews uh, with several people from the Victims of Paradise uh, shortly. I'm having some technical difficulties. They're trying to block me, but I found a way to get it out. We'll get that out shortly. That's another huge story, but this is a huge story for all you who love animals and pets. This is genocide, folks. This is from StopTheCrime.net. Deborah Tavares, a world-class investigative reporter, she's chronicling how they're not allowing the pets and animals to be rescued from the fires from paradise. They're not allowing them in. The animal rescue workers are being denied. They're being turned away. They are not allowing the pets and animals of the people to be re rescued. And she's showing you why. She's showing you how. Thank you for the Millennium Report for putting this out there. And she's also showing in this article, which I'll put in the show notes, what you can do. We are clearly under attack, especially in California and along the coastlines of the southeast and, and according, uh, according to uh, southwest as well. In California alone, in the past 14 months, Lake County's been attacked. Mendocino complex fire, the car fires up in Redding, and then they got hit again along Highway 5. Down here in Santa Rosa on 8, uh, October 9th, uh, 8 11, 9 11, the attacks in Paradise were on 11 9, 9 11. Read the book Paradise Lost by Milton, John Milton. They're describing what they're doing. Also, the fires that occurred in Malibu, in Thousand Oaks, in Santa Barbara that got hit twice and then they came back with rains last December. Then we got hit with the fires in uh, Paradise after that. So we can see we're clearly under attack. California is being used for resources. There's the five mega dam project that's going in, the industrial railroads, the mega cities that are everybody's starting to pick up on that are going up to Eureka to building the railroads. Governor Jesuit Jerry Moonbeam Brown has said that there's, we need to log now because the logging is necessary to prevent the fires so they can put the railroads in and also they harvest the timber. And under Paradise is huge gold reserves. If you look in the town of Paradise, there's the Gold Nugget Museum. They want it all for themselves. Bohemian Grove is west of Santa Rosa. Everything being attacked is east of Santa Rosa. And I'm getting a lot of comments because I said something about Trump and all you out there that think that your vote matters, please think again. They don't represent you. They don't have any clue who you are. They use neuro-linguistic programming, whether it be Obama who's going to build community and hope and change with the hopium or the next, you know, Mr. Nice Guy, Mr. Blue, Mr. Help Everybody. I'm a first black guy. Everybody gets their hearts out, has hopium. And then they bring in with Trump. He's going to drain the swamp and he's going to make it all better. Trump is the last card played in bridge. It's the end of the game. Gabriel seven trumpets. T stands for roof, roof over the rump. They're making asses of us. They just attacked Butte Butte County, folks, with streets like Honeydew Lane and Skyway and towns that are next to it like Hellfire and Flea Town. What are they telling us, folks? Okay? And all you that think that Trump is going to save your ass, the bar borders are going up to keep us in. This is turning into China. We're going to become the manufacturing representatives of the world. That's why Foxconn is going into Wisconsin, the largest manufacturer of your smartphones, as Chinese slave labor, where they have to put up suicide nets for the apples and, the, and, and your smartphones so people won't commit suicide. And they're coming in to Wisconsin. And Google, Alabama, China, they're all over the place. And then here in Santa Rosa, they've got James Lee Witt, the former FEMA director, coming in and bringing uh, uh, his, his disaster capital firm, Secor, that made $15 million in profits from Hurricane Harvey. And also, James Lee Witt has private companies called E5 and E6 visa programs that are bringing immigrants, Indian Chinese workers, into the United States, into Santa Rosa, to take over jobs out here as the homeless problems go nuts. It's going to get a lot worse, sorry to say, but truth be told. We need to prepare ourselves. Trump has no interest in you. He is a sock puppet. It is not Trump that you need to pay attention to. It is the people next to them. It is the Mike Pence who's starting the Space Force 2020, which is putting up the space fence, the Tesla dome that Alana Freeland has written about in her excellent books and on her pages. Google Alana Freeland if you want to learn about what is going down. 
But this is about the animals, folks. This is about them genociding our, our babies, our children, our loved ones. This is about the future of all life. They don't care about life. That's why soldiers are called sold to die. Soldiers sold to die. That's why they give them dog tags. That's why in legalese, in Roman Latin law, Maryland, Rome used to be named, Washington, D.C. used to be named Rome, Maryland. The White House was named after Andrew White, the first Archbishop Roman Catholic that landed in Jamestown, Jamestown, Virginia, and they landed on a boat called the Freemasons. I also highly encourage you to Google uh, uh, Albert Pike, who declared three world wars. He's a Scottish Rite Freemason, founder of the Ku Klux Klan in Arkansas. He's buried in the mausoleum in the Scottish Rite Freemason Center in Washington, D.C. What does the District of Columbia stand for? Nobody knows because it's a private corporation that was founded on February 21st, 1871. I want to get back to the Paradise Fires here. Uh, oh, just on finishing, the corporation was created on 1871, the USA Corporation, along with the 14th Amendment and the 16th Amendment. The 14th Amendment put us all on ships, citizenship, partnership, relationship, ownership. We're all on ships when we go to the Roman Latin law courts. It's like a tennis court as they bat back and forth that Jordan Maxwell brought up so, uh, so properly and beautifully. And also you have a bailiff, you have a docket. That's why our banking system is a river bank, currency, cash flow, liquid assets. What's the Vatican? It's the Holy See. The Vatican is the religious arm. The city of London are the bankers. And Washington, D.C. is the bank uh, is the military arm. We bomb everybody every 12 minutes. We are like hit the dog lottery. I know. Oh, Hi, babies. Are you guys ready to go? You guys ready to go? You guys ready? Are you ready? Oh, sweet guys. Look at these guys. But here's a love video of guy going and rescue some dogs on, here. There is some help that got in, but now paradise is completely shut down. You cannot go into it now after the rains. It's been mudslides. So they're washing away all of the evidence. They're not doing body counts. They've closed. They've closed. The investigations were being told for any of the any of victims because the DNA records were in the dental office that was lost in the Paradise Fires. I mean, this is what's going on. We're going back up for more interviews. The next post I'll be coming out with, if they'll allow me, will be these interviews with the victims who are first persons, tow truck drivers and others who have been up there, and they grew up in the towns of Paradise. And, and here's another note. It wasn't just Paradise. It's Megalia, it's many other towns that are outside of Paradise that got hit as well, but they're only selling it as Paradise. And this is why Trump, who went to Fordham University, who was a Jesuit, and Jerry Brown, who went, who's a Jesuit minister, and Gavin Newsom, who went to Santa Clara Jesuit, and, and Janet Napolitano, former Homeland Security, is now in the, running the UC Regent, uh, University of California Regent System. She's a Jesuit as well. You know, Georgetown University was founded six months before Washington, D.C., a Jesuit school. Are you waking up yet? Do you understand talking about Trump is wasting time and energy and someone you're only going to see on TV and really, really doesn't care about you? Do you understand why Trump had to purge so many people, generals and everything, from the White House positions, how many people have been left? Because they found out what the agenda was and they could not, they would not participate in it. And so they resigned but they have to keep quiet or they will be killed. That's the game being played, that's the story, but the animals, folks, this is tragic. We need to wake up. Deborah Tavares has listed all the things you can do. Oh, it looks like my dog, Oscar. Um, and it's just, my heart is breaking, folks. I'm just, I'm just, my heart is heavy. So please do what you can, start somewhere, use what you got, speak out, time is short. We need to prep and prepare. Don't let, give in to the fear. Face everything and respond, but do not flee everything, run. Plain Truth Out, peace. We'll catch you next very important video. Thank you for all your support and for listening. Love one another.